Thank you for visiting the fifth version of GETeach.com. It's really very similar to the fourth one. I just clicked it up on the screen. Uh, you'll notice, however, that this new version has this option menu that kind of floats around um, in case you need to move. Uh, you can also close it if you would like to. Just hit close, if, that icon. If you want it to show back up, come over here where it says option menu and just click it. And it, It's uh, designed to kind of go towards the left side of the screen. That way you can find it relatively easily. The purpose of this really was to get make it easier to, to go between like a two worlds or one world view. So for example, I'll come over here and hit land temperature on this left pane and while it's loading up uh, you can see that you know Africa in January is still relatively warm the continent of Africa but maybe you wanted to show that just that scene to your students just click that one L so left one earth it'll show whatever's on that left side to get it back to go to two world just click it again it's basically a checkbox and you'll be able to kind of see both worlds again now we do the same thing over here so physical land temperature we'll do July again just like last time, last version, the descriptions and the credits change. You, know, you can sync your left and right worlds depending on uh, which one you have highlighted orange. Uh, we go to Europe this time, this time, you know, and then we'll hit right, and that shows you, you know, one world of the right side. Um, also created this kind of little social media checkbox if you wanna want me to follow you or you want to follow me or make any comments or anything if you're having any issues uh, feel free to leave one there uh, I'm gonna update this help as people are, are offering suggestions uh, I'll put this video on there along with some others kind of as we go along the other feature we've been working on the last kind of year was making sure that the students are able to use their drive so I just copy and pasted a shared link from a Google Drive and I'll hit the drive icon there this way your students, if they have access to uh, Google Drive, they could just set that, K they upload a KML, they set it to public, and you just take that link and copy and paste it there. Um, I don't know, maybe a couple of years ago I hit the go to button for Austin, or in this case, that way you can kind of fly. It's, it's pretty helpful, except for uh, there's a lot of towns that have similar names, so sometimes it's not as helpful as you would like it to be turn this off or go back to July or something like that. Um, hopefully that was helpful. Uh, everything else has pretty much remained the same. I think about the only thing I've added over here is 3D buildings or something like that. Um, enjoy it. If you have any questions, concerns, need, need uh, help or anything like that, just go ahead and either hit the help button or contact me via social media. Thanks.